All right, how's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is a seven minute full body at home workout. Pretty much anybody could do this. You can modify it as needed, make it as hard or as simple, as, as easy as you want. So if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of my new videos. All right, thanks a lot. So yeah, this is just a quick video of an example of strength training workout that I would do. And just to remind you, most of the time I just eat one meal a day. So I fast for 22 hours, eat in a two hour, eating, uh, two hour window. And as far as exercise, at noontime on my lunch hour, I'll either do a run or do some hot yoga. And then when I get off work at 4 p.m., I'll do some strength training. So the strength training is usually pretty quick. It's like 10 minutes or less most of the time. And this is just an example of something that I would do. And I usually hit full body and pretty much get that in every day. So here we go. All right, so this is gonna be a full body workout. It's gonna be four moves. And I'm starting off with a pull exercise, which is usually what I start off with. Now, these are obviously more advanced pull-ups and not everyone can do this. So if you can't do something like this, you could do regular pull-ups. If you can't do regular pull-ups, you can always start off with pull-ups using a band, which are pretty inexpensive. It's this band you step on and they're basically like assisted pull-ups. So I like starting the routine off with a pull move because I'd say it's probably the hardest move I do. So I like to get that, do that one first when I have the most strength. So I'll do about maybe, I don't know, 45 seconds or so of pull-ups and then I'll rest for about a minute and 15 seconds before the next move. So I like doing a uh, total body every day and not going too much, just doing enough. So after the pull movement, I do a push movement and I'm doing some variations of different push-ups here. I'm starting out with some try with some close grip push-ups, then I'm going to do some regular push-ups and then some wide push-ups and then back to the to the regular push-ups again. So obviously if you can't do a whole bunch of push-ups, you could always start off with push-ups on your knees to modify and then just work your way up from there as you build more strength. So there's always ways to modify these exercises, but I like to do the pull, then I do a push movement, and I give about a minute or so, a minute to a minute and a half rest in between each um, exercise. So after the, I think I got a couple more, yeah. Last one right there. So after the push movement, I go to a leg movement, and here I'm gonna do some squats, some weighted squats. Um, not a whole bunch of weight, so I'm just doing them pretty slow so I get a good burn and uh, trying to go down for a few seconds, hold it for maybe five seconds, then come up. So I'll do those for about a minute or so before moving on to the next movement. So if you can't do weighted squats real slow like that, let's say you're just starting out, you could just do squats without any weight. And if those are too easy, then just go slow when you do them and then you can start adding weight. But I like to get a good burn on those squats. Works out the whole legs, it feels pretty good. So the third movement is usually a leg movement. And in this case, I'm doing these squats. And then again, in between each set, I'm resting about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. So the whole workout only takes about seven or eight minutes. Hit a full body workout and every day. And I, again, I do this around 4 p.m. and I eat at 5.30. So I do this kind of towards the end of my fasting window. And it seems to work out good like that. So I think I got one more of these. And I'll move on to my last movement. And the fourth movement, I usually do a core movement. So here I'm doing these, I uh, can't think of what these are called. But uh, <laughs> so whatever these are, I'll do these for maybe like a minute, 45 seconds or a minute. And this, so the core movement is my last movement. And I vary it up each day. I do different things, but this is what I'm doing here. And um, so that's pretty much it. It's just four movements and it works the full body works total body and something easy. You don't need a lot of equipment. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.